Did you know that the Quaha, a half-zebra, half-horse creature, was one of the first animals driven to extinction by human actions? Once roaming freely across South Africa, this unique species vanished forever in the 1880s. Today, it stands as a tragic reminder of the impact humans can have on wildlife. Meet the Quaha, a remarkable zebra subspecies that once roamed the plains of South Africa. Unlike any other animal, it had a mix of zebra stripes in the front and solid brown in the back, giving it a half-zebra, half-horse appearance. But this unique creature's disappearance marks a sad chapter in history, as its extinction serves as a powerful lesson on wildlife conservation. The Quaha once thrived in the grasslands and scrublands of South Africa, grazing alongside other herbivores and playing a crucial role in maintaining the ecosystem's balance. As a close relative of the plains zebra, it shared many behavioral traits but stood out with its unique coloring. This distinct look wasn't just for show. It helped the Quaha adapt to its environment in a way unlike any other zebra species. The story of the Quaha's decline began in the 18th century, when European settlers first described this striking animal. As settlers expanded across South Africa, the Quaha became an easy target due to its relatively calm nature. Hunters valued it for its meat and hide, and it was also seen as competition for livestock, leading to extensive hunting. Over the next century, the Quaha population rapidly decreased as habitat loss added pressure. By the late 1800s, sightings were rare, and in 1883, the last known Quaha died in a zoo in Amsterdam. With that, the Quaha, a unique creature and crucial part of its ecosystem, was lost forever one of the first extinctions directly attributed to human activity. The Quaha faced intense challenges as colonial expansion swept through South Africa. Competing with livestock for grazing lands, it was often viewed as a nuisance by farmers. Habitat destruction followed, reducing the areas where it could safely roam. These pressures, combined with relentless hunting, sealed the fate of the Quaha in just a few short decades. Though the Quaha disappeared over a century ago, Efforts to preserve its legacy have continued. In 1987, a group of scientists launched the Quaha Project, an ambitious initiative aimed at selectively breeding plain zebras to recreate the Quaha's unique appearance. By carefully selecting zebras with fewer stripes, they've managed to produce animals that closely resemble the Quaha's distinct look. While they can't bring back the original species, the project serves as a powerful tribute to what was lost and a reminder of the importance of conservation. These recreated Quahas roam in protected areas in South Africa today, allowing people to witness a close resemblance of the past and inspiring ongoing efforts to prevent future extinctions. The story of the Quaha is a powerful reminder of the lasting impact human actions can have on wildlife. Once lost, a species can never truly return, but the Quaha's legacy lives on as a cautionary tale. Its extinction underscores the urgent need for conservation, showing us why protecting today's wildlife is more important than ever.